Happy Passover, everyone. Good Moed. I hope you all had an amazing Passover Seder. And the question is, now what? Okay, we did the Passover Seder. We survived. It was one or two nights if you're in, in outside of Israel. And, okay, what's different now? How have you changed? How, what's... The problem is that very often we go, we do certain mitzvot and commandments, and we do it and say, yeah, check, bucket list, we did it, and, um, and I'm, a, I'm a happy, I'm a good person now, I'm a good Jew. And this is a very dangerous way to think, because that's not how it's supposed to be. Every mitzvah we do, every um, you know, commandment or Jewish ritual we do, is only for the purpose to get closer to God, to God, to understand God better, and to change ourselves. So if I do a commandment just like Passover Seder, and now we are after the Seder, and my life is still the same, then why did you even do it in the first place? So we have to ask ourselves, what's, what's unique about Pesach that's going to change me? Every holiday, every mitzvah has something unique to teach us, to give us a lesson, and to help us change to go to the next level. So the Passover Seder, uh, to me, obviously everybody has a different way to experience it, but it's clear we're trying to, um, the general theme is to achieve a sense of freedom. Um, but then we can all learn our own unique lesson how to achieve that freedom and how to change. So this year I want to focus on the freedom that we get from the fact that we go through the Passover Seder in a way that it's a very, very powerful experience. What are we basically doing? We're trying to really feel in our bones and flesh, uh, in, our, in our soul, emotionally, the fact that we were in Egypt, that we are in Egypt, that our soul is trapped into this world and into a society, uh, uh, in, a, in a way of life that is very, um, very, how do you say, uh, not random, but very uh, physical and very routine-like, and very not full of habits, very very materialistic, and therefore, we 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 stop thinking, we start we start losing the purpose of our creation, and we know the according to one opinion, the world was created in Nissan, and we start losing the purpose of our birth as a Jewish nation. In Nisan is the day where we are, is the month where we were born as a Jewish nation. It's also the month that the Besamikdash was uh, built and celebrated, the Mishkan somewhere in the desert. So there is a parallel to that. What's, what's, what's uh, the, re the real mission of the Jewish people? Why are you Jewish in the first place? We're Jewish in the first place because we chose, we made a bridge, we made a covenant with God that we, as a Jewish people, will take the responsibility to be a light into the nation and to build a temple that will be a house of prayer for all the nations. We're supposed to be the, the, the role model of, for the whole world. So what do we do on the night of Passover? We try to feel it. We eat things that makes us almost like, uh, you know, our body aches from the, all the matzah we eat and we have to drink to get drunk. Um, not completely drunk, but tipsy. Four cups of wine and we starve ourselves for now hours and then we tell the story and then we leave it. We show, play with the kids and try to uh, play out the whole story and try to compare it to our everyday life, how we're, we, ha we need to go out of, the, of our Egypt, our own personal Egypt and our society today. And through that whole experience, we start to feel, wow, you know, this is, this is real. This is very true. God is saving us from Egypt every moment and we have the ability to do that all the time and to remind ourselves this is our mission this is the Jewish people this is what we're all about this is what we're going to teach our kids this is this is our legacy this is our destiny and therefore when we finish the seder then we're like whoa I got I got to act upon it so how do we do that right away the day after Passover we start counting 50 days and why we count 15 days? Because 15 days later is Shavuot, the receiving of the Torah. The Passover and uh, pa Passover is 50 days before. It's we calculate Shavuot, which is not in the Torah on a specific date. We calculate 
when Shabbat is going to be because the whole, there's only a Shabbat, there's only connection to the Torah, to our light, to the nation, our wisdom to the nation, if we have that Passover, if we're able to go out. So what, how do we go out? So we count 50 days. What are the 50 days? The counting of the Omer, and every day we don't just count, we count how we change. Every day it's a work on a different character traits because the key to be enlightened to the nation, to become a spiritual people, is to refine our character traits. Every mitzvah is actually here to help us fix one of the character traits and to make them more and more perfect. So, but if I don't start working on my character traits, my mitzvahs aren't going to help. So what do we do during seven weeks? We work on the character traits. The first week is the week of, we will work on our love, on our power of chesed, of giving. And then the second week we work on our power of, of to, to, to direct, to limit, to focus, to, to judge properly uh, and, and to be precise in details. Um, and on the next, the, the, the week after is Tiferes, where we work on harmony, being one with people, with Hashem, with the spiritual, with the physical. So every week we work on something different and we have a lot of books for that. So, and when we really work on ourselves, then we start really getting that sense of freedom that we experience on Passover. We start to, to change and eventually we're able to become a role model for the nation because you know why we are here. The, 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 the Gemara in Yehoma in Peiches, no, Pei Vav, um, right? Page 86a in Yoma, it says that we are supposed to have the nation uh, to act in a way that the nations are going to want to love God through us, to admire God through us. And, and this requires working on character traits. We have a mission as a Jewish people to be a role model. It is the Rambam says in Chos Melachim that Moshe was, resp was responsible to teach to the nations of the world the Seven Commandments, the Bnei Noach, and therefore it's our duty to do so also. That's the Jewish people, they teach how to behave. And the seven no laws of Noah correspond to the seven character traits, which correspond to the seven weeks that we're to work on ourselves, the seven lower midot uh, sfirot. So now we understand this is really what what we're doing after Pesach. Why did I do a seder? To be so in touch with my mission, with who I am as a Jewish people, as a, 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 who we are as a Jewish people, that I'm going to now act and change my behavior and work really hard because this is my mission. If I don't work on myself, I'm losing my whole purpose as a Jew and as a human being. Um, and and um, I encourage all of you to make sure that you work on your character traits. The Ramchal, one of the best ways to work on your character traits is the Mesilat the, Yishayim, the path of the just. Read the path of the just, change your character traits. Actually, the path of the just correspond to the seven weeks also. They correspond to the seven character traits, how to change them, how to get closer to God. Um, but you, there's other books like Tomer Dvora, the palm tree of Dvora, that tells you what to work on every... Uh, week. There's also the book the Getting to Know Your Soul by Rabbi Schwartz, um, it's a very good book. And there's many other books that you can use. There, there are books on Sphere Homer, on Counting the Armor, Every Day a Different Thing to Work, one from Rabbi Simon Jacobson, and many others. So I encourage all of you, also on, if you go on the Foundation Stone, that org, you're going to find a whole list of how to work with tools on how to work every day on your character traits, very precisely with tools, how to do it. So this is so important because you know the difference between good and bad? Good means spiritual and bad means physical. Not that the, the physical is bad, but if you want to be spiritual, you got to act good. Good character traits leads you to spirituality. You want to become a spiritual person, work on your character traits. The spirituality comes out of those character traits. This is the system that got put in place. And if we don't work on character traits, we become very physical. The character trait allows you to con control the body and to have the soul over the matter. So may we all become spiritual, work very strong, and, and, and 
make plans. The Monsieur Lasse Shame, the path of the just says, if you don't have tools, you don't have a strategy on how to work on your character traits, and you don't have a book or something, or a rabbi to help you work on character traits, you're not going to succeed. So may you find the book, the rabbi, the information, and work every day on your character trait. And Bezat Hashem will be able to be a light into the nation and receive the Torah again and our Torah personally and to the Jewish people on Shavuot um, and, and be able to radiate our light, our wisdom, the wisdom of Hashem into the world and bring the whole world back to Hashem Bezat Hashem. Chag Sameach.